Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Donnie and today I am going to show you how to create an S-curve that compares the target right, versus the actual okay, S-curve okay, from MS Project. So if you've watched my previous video before, you know that MS Project cannot perform an S-curve on its own. So the idea is that you have to prepare S-curve, uh, the uh, data from MS Project, and then export it to Excel. And then Excel is the one that will create the S-curve uh, for us. So here's how to do it. So first, you have to, of course, make sure that you have your target uh, tasks. So here, I already entered my project together with the target start and target end. And once you've set your targets, you then have to go to the project tab and then go to set baseline. You have to set that these are your target dates. These are your baseline dates. This will be the basis whether you accomplished your targets. So we set baseline and then you declare what baseline number it is. Is it the original baseline or is it a second baseline, a third baseline, and so on. So for this one, I'll go for the original baseline. It's the very first baseline that I have. So click OK. And from there, I can now see that when I add new columns, the baseline start and the baseline finish will pick up okay, the data that I've entered here in my start and finish columns, which I do not need anymore. So I have to hide them now, or I can hide them now. And then the next part is you have to then accomplish the actual start and the actual finish, which, which as you could see, doesn't have anything yet. So you have to fill out when the project really started or when the task really started together with when it actually ended. So you have to complete this. So if you have been doing this, so good for you. You don't have to manually do it one by one. But if you haven't, then you have to fill out uh, everything. So let me fast forward okay, to the video wherein I fill this uh, all out. Okay. All right. So now I completed uh, my actual start and my actual finish. So I'm now going to save the project. And then we're now going to generate the report. We're going to go to the report tab. And then under the report tab, we have to go to visual reports. So in the visual reports pop up, you will be seeing some several some tabs here. So let's go to the all tab and what we need is the baseline work report. So under the baseline work report, once you've selected that, click edit template. We're in. You have to select the fields that you want to show up in your Excel uh, report. So the ones on the right are those that will be added already. But unfortunately, the fields that we need are actually not there yet. So we have to add the baseline cumulative work and then click add and then we also need the cumulative actual work so it's alphabetically arranged so you could uh, just look for them and once you've added both the cumulative fields the baseline cumulative and the cumulative actual you then click edit template so now MS Project is generating the Excel report. So you just have to wait. All right. And now we have the Excel report with us, but it's not doesn't it doesn't really look like an S curve yet because we have to do something about the assignment usage tab. So in the assignment usage tab, that is where we're going to see the classic uh, pivot table that MS Project generated for us. So we have to uncheck the actual work. We don't need that. What we need is the baseline cumulative, okay, and the cumulative actual. So anything that is not cumulative, you have to remove, okay, until you only have the two. 
So baseline commutative, cumulative, and cumulative actual. And then the next part is for us to drag the weekly calendar column or field into the rows area right above the task. Okay. And from there, you should see that uh, it's now found here. Okay. You should see the year of the project, which you will then toggle down in order to show the weeks. Okay. And if ever you get something like this, the name of the task, then you can simply click on the minus sign. So all you get is something like this. So this is technically the file name of the uh, project. So now, if we go back to the chart, you should see that it's almost there, only that it is in a form of a column chart. So what we need to do is right-click on the chart itself, and then we have to change the chart type. So change chart type, and we have to switch it into a line chart. And as you could see, it's already a line chart. Click OK. All right, let me do that again. Click All right. OK, and there it is. And if you have been doing S-curves for quite some time, you know that S-curves may not always look, at, look like an S, like... Uh, what we hope it to be. It simply means that the project is sort of like evenly distributed, something like that. There's no slow start and a plateau at the end. So this one is a well distributed uh, S-curve, I think. And you should see that the uh, dark orange line is your baseline cumulative and the lighter shade is the cumulative actual. So you can modify that if you want okay you can simply right click for example for the baseline i can change it to a blue one so we just have to change the outline color and for the cumulative actual you could also change the outline color into something else so it's easily visible and there you have it it's uh, how you create a comparative s curve coming from MS project. I hope you like the video and if you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and I will try my best to answer you as soon as possible. And also feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.